With an object selected, you can move, rotate, and scale it. And the shortcut keys for this is E, R, and T, or you can click these icons up here. But learning the keyboard shortcuts is going to save you a lot of time. So if you want to move something on the Z axis, you just push it back or forward here. And you'll notice over here, these values increase and decrease as this is moved. With these squares, you can move on two axes as one. So if you want to move in the Y and X at the same time, you just click that and you can see it moving just on that one plane. Same with the other two. And then the center shape, if you click and drag that, it'll move kind of along the screen space. So it's nice for tweaking or just nudging an object, but it's not very accurate. If you just want to move on one axis, you can get a lot more accuracy there. And these values over here are based on meters. So that's why they appear to be so small, because this is a very small object relatively. There's also a difference between local and global coordinates. So if we select the diamond and rotate with global on, you'll see these axes don't move. Now if we switch over to local, they do. So this means if we rotate this all the way on its side and switch to global, we can still rotate it along the Y axis, which we wouldn't be able to do if we were still on local because these axes are tilted. And the same goes with translation. These axes are matched to the orientation of the object. And if we switch over to global, they lock back into the world space and so you can move it just along one axis in the global space.